saw Eden, they got those, they got shit like that at their expense. Yeah. It says they spend their days in wealth. Right. They own Fortune 500 companies. Right, that's why like doing somebody's right. Being, right. being super high. And like the scriptures say, they they uh leave the rest for their babes. Right, that's what you call generational wealth. Because yeah. these so-called white people we got the elites, right? The Rothschild, Rockefellers, Duponts, Gettys, the Oppenheimers, the Bilderbergs. You know, the Luxembourgs, these different Edomite families, they got what you call generational wealth, all right? Which, which their children don't have to work a day in their life. They reaping the fruits of their father's labor. Right. Oh, oh, if I'm not mistaken, the dude Albert Pike, that was one of his sayings, that he was going to reap the fruits of his labor, which is which was America. That was they labor, them, them setting up this, this, this society and this economy, this system, and then them reaping the fruits of it off the backs of who? You so-called Negroes, like tell them, never in it. Even they own people, the, the ones who are at the bottom. Son, it says, uh, they spend their days in wealth and in a moment go down to the grave. <laughs> Therefore, they say unto you, Most High, Yahweh, depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. Right, because they trust in riches. That's why the people talk about, though, uh, he didn't trust it. Hey, real quick, uh, just Psalms 49 and 6, my brother talking about they wealthy, they, they, they wealthy, they wealth and they riches. Oh, yeah, they said they tell the most hot to part from us. Yeah, it's not right. the same way, man. That's why the dude said F the Bible, man. You know, so even my dude down there, he said pretty much F the Bible, man. They didn't believe and whatnot, man. Pretty much being a scoffer. Here, hey, 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 read it real quick, man. Oh, God. Psalms 49, verse 6. It say, They that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the most true of their riches. Who do that? Just these so called white people. That's what they do. They trust in their wealth and they boast themselves in a plan. They carry themselves in a proud way. Because they got what you call a, a, a security blanket, okay? They can lose their job, but a nigga got $100,000 in the bank, so he ain't got to be scrambling for another job or go, or go sign up for unemployment and go through the ringer that they put you through just to receive the unemployment. Yeah, because you get a relaxed feeling when you when you ain't got to, like, scramble like that, man. That, 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 man, that's not a good feeling, man, when you lose a job. That's anxiety. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Right? That's anxiety, man. And it, it's certain... It's certain there's a chemical reaction that your body kick off, man. When you when you go through anxiety, man. Negative. Yeah, negative effect, man. That feeling of uh, uh, yo, that feeling of being uneased, man. All right, and like I said, you scrambling because you know you when you lose your job, what come to mind? Your family, uh, they, they're, they're, uh, their 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 well being, your well being. You know what I mean? With, man, I, this this fucking devil don't got shit to complain about, man. You living good, man. You got a you got a decent house, man. A decent family. You living in a fucking best areas, man. man I, I was just doing a house. I was just doing a house out there in Orange County. Uh -huh. And uh, the Edomite, he come to his mailbox. He said, hey, how you, how you, how you, how are you guys doing, man? We like, we, we, we hanging in there. He said, yeah, yeah man, another day in heaven, man. Yeah. Big ass matching, yeah. infinity Benz trucks. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Another day in heaven, man. All yeah. right, I was just thinking to myself like, damn, yeah, man. It's spirit, man. You feel me? Like, they, they, like, they ain't going, they ain't going through nothing, bro. Man, it says right here, Joe, hey, yeah, real quick. Uh, Psalms chapter uh, 49, uh, verse 7. I right, says, uh, None of them can be by any means redeem his brother, nor give to Yahweh ransom for him. Right. You can't, that, that money ain't, the, the point of that, the, the, the point of that message, that scripture is that money ain't gonna save you. Right. And all that shit that Esau boasting and, 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 you know, all that shit that he got him pumped up, that ain't gonna, that's gonna be vain. Uh -huh. We talk about that rich property not in the, in the day of the Lord. Right, so, you got it. It's Job 21 and 15. Uh, so, Proverbs uh, 11, verse 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. Right, money ain't gonna be able to save these, though. Yeah. The scriptures say what? As for gold, they shall not delight in it. That's right, all right. The gold is better than fucking than, than, uh, FRN, though. Hell yeah, man. You feel me? That, right. that shit hold weight, bro. This is Job 21 and 15. It says, What is the Almighty that we should serve him? And what profit should we have if we pray unto him? And that's what they question. That's a question mark. You know, that's how they you know, that's how they that's what they question saying, hey, to what benefit is it if we get down to serve this guy? Right, because but in the ancient world, they, they, they was forcing trying to serve our Lord. You know, during the time of uh, was it Darius? You know, during the time of the Persians, man. I, I, I didn't expect that. They were forcing themselves trying to serve our power. But here it is. Today, they, they pull the pride because they got that wealth, man. They trust in their arms, flesh, their sword, their blessing, you know. Right, because these so-called white people, they got the spirit. 
of wickedness on them, so they know that by them serving the heavenly Father, y'all about nothing good can come from them. So they already know. So they just they 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 rather just serve Satan because they know. And then another thing, they know that they can't serve the heavenly Father. Why? Because they could be going off and they go not go keep the law of commandments. So they just want to be lawless. They don't want no law. They don't want no order. Then they got Law and Order, SVU, and all these different goddamn uh, uh, television series. Yeah, words like you know, words like statutes, laws, and, you know, things like that, or decrees. You know, that, that shouldn't come out of anyone's mouth. Yeah, man. You know, I, mean, I was, you know, was thinking about that, you know, a day or two ago. Or you know, you know, they have all these, you know, laws, you know, unrighteous decrees and all that. You know, they have no business doing that. Yeah. But it's only because you know the Heavenly Father, you know, set it up. Or you know, just because, or you know, we we went off. Or you know, just like. Um, I believe it was the, uh, when, when you've seen that old school video with, um, uh, Yaikwa, where uh, he was talking about, uh, you know, he's, uh, like, he's showing us, uh, uh, you know, the ways of evil so, so we can learn, uh, you know, learn and appreciate, uh, you know, righteousness. Yeah, and it made perfect sense, man. The Lord, he wanted us to go through things so we can see for ourselves, man. Last for these devils, man, like I said, y'all, like the brother said, y'all ain't got no business. Like, the scriptures all say you ain't got no, what's that, Psalms, the things, the 56, uh, taking the covenant in the mouth. What, what chapter is it, Gion? 56, the Psalms 15 and 16. <coughs> Con, can you grab that for me, Psalms 15 and 16? You got no fucking business picking up the Bible talking about, uh, thou shalt uh, love thy neighbor, man. Where the hell, like, was going on that damn eat of my yesterday, man? Where the hell was the love at when you was hanging niggas, man? You might don't like to remember that, man, because you like to paint yourself in this white light image, man. We're the good, man. No, you ain't. No, you ain't, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, man. The spirit, the spirit exposes motherfuckers. Yeah, where's the love, man? Yeah, where's the love? <laughs> where's the love, man? Ain't, ain't no love up here, ain't man. No love you, up here. You the devil, man. Look, look, throwing your two thumbs up, man. We don't, hey, man. You can hold them. You a devil, man. Yeah, you a devil, man. You're a devil. Yeah. I got something, man. This, Yo, hold on, let me give me them guys. Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, Yahweh said, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Mm -hmm. Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Yeah, man, what the hell you got to do with, uh, you speak of, you speak of uh, uh, love, honor. Writing laws. Yeah, laws. Passing you know, laws. Even, yeah, even, even, even Jake. Even all uh, those uh, wicked ass uh, Israelite pastors, man. Right. Why, why, why you putting the Lord's law in your mouth if you're not even gonna follow it, man? Yeah. So you just keep it out your mouth, man. Yeah, man. You gonna be a sinner? You are gonna be a wicked nigga? Just do your wickedness, man. But keep the Lord laws out your mouth, man. That's right. All right? That's that's why people don't take us for the most part. That's why these people don't take us serious because we're like the boy who cried wolf, man. That like you done heard it a million times. Mm -hmm. Come on, wait, so Saint Matthew seven and one, mm -hmm. Judge not. That ye be not judged. Oh, beautiful. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured or to you again. Yeah, and that's that same chapter that's going to the Pope, right? Yeah, man. You gotta, you gotta, you can't, you can't be judging people. That's why, brothers, we, we getting ourselves together, man. Otherwise, we couldn't be out here standing up here uh, trying to correct people, man, because we wouldn't be right, man. And we ain't perfect, no, but we get, we. We're, we're, we're attempting to uh, yeah, the strive. Difference, yeah, the difference between like us and them is that we, you know, we strive for righteousness. Yeah. Or, but you know, we, but we, when we tell them, or you know, as far as you know, correcting people, or you know, you know, even you know, the dietary you know, is like, oh, what do you mean? Or, you know, like that guy earlier was like, the shrimp and chip is delicious. <laughs> God. <laughs> That's what the scriptures say. Uh, my people don't consider. We consider. Yeah. All right, why? But how do you know we consider? It's because we rehearsing the righteous acts, man. Yeah. All right, we know we slip up and fall. Like when you when you got a movie being directed, all right, and then, you know the movie roles going good, then a mistake happened, it cut. Yeah, that's how it is with us, man. We rehearsing the righteous act. Oh, uh, you, you people don't even consider. Yeah, that's right. That's in the book of Judges, man. That's right. They should have rehearsed the righteous acts. But then, and furthermore, too, like let's put it like this, man. If it was up to the wicked pastors and shit like that, and if God gave them a choice, like would you want this place to be destroyed and, and righteousness to flourish? Right. They'd be like, oh hell no, nah, man. I right. rather get, I rather get that Billy that I, that's on his way up here huh. and uh, live uh, and, and live amongst a uh, God amongst. Now nah, you niggas. know they're not serving. They're not even serving the true power because the, the scripture said, "My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation." Yeah. They ain't going through nothing. They ain't going through a damn thing. Right. Hey, they rather live in they rather live in sin for a season. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Real talk, man. Huh. Hey, they, they rather they rather live here and just be yeah. wicked, man. Right. Uh, the difference with us that. You best believe, man, if it was up to me, man, this place had been destroyed a hella long ago, man. Hella long ago, If it was up to us, I'd be getting up out of here right now. Hell yeah, right up, right up now. I'd be waiting on the Lord, looking at the watch and everything, man. I'm going to work. Consider.
in Isaiah 1 and 3. That's H995. Uh, so Shalom, Judah. It says, Shalom. To discern, Judah. understand. Bring it, bring it back on. The, the, word, the word consider in Isaiah 1 and 3. H995. It says, B'nai. Bayant, like your pronunciation, it says to discern, understand, consider. It says observe, give heed to, distinguish. You know, these people ain't doing nothing. They ain't doing damn thing, man. Teach, Ready? Show hey, 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 this, See, look, this, 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 <laughs> it ain't for us to, uh, to take matters in the home. You a red yeah, devil. Yeah, yeah. Just for you to do that devilish ass shit you just did. It cool, yeah, it cool, it cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna talk about that. Oh, yeah. love your demon out of here. Scripture said God hates Esau. Fucking faggot. It's the perfect time, man. It's all good, it's all good. Esau, 50 and 17. Esau, sin thou hatest instruction. Sin thou hatest, no, go to 17. I'll get ready, that was cool. Go to 17. Oh, it's like, go thou hatest instruction Beautiful. and castest my words behind you. Yeah. When thou sawest a thief, then thou cons consentest with him. Yeah, man. It says, see thou hatest instruction, man. This man hates instruction, man. And not only that, man, he hate, he hate, he hate to be directed by, uh, by so-called niggas, man. That's why, that's why you need to fight those respect for us, man, because we ain't in our room. Said we gotta be like sheep from most wolves, so we can't. If you best believe, man, brothers, we have that that mindset of man, we wanna fuck these, de these devils up, but you can't do it, man. We in slavery, man. Just let him come to me. He ain't touching nobody, ain't nobody. And the Lord could do way right. more uh, damage than we could. Man. Yeah, that's right. All right. <laughs> if we was mad, right? Let's say we wanted to just go ham on speed of mice. You kill maybe two, three, and your ass be winded. Tired. You know what I mean? Up. Tired as hell, bro. Uh, yeah, I got some. This is Ezekiel 14 <laughs> and 21. Yep. For thus saith the Lord Jehovah. How much more when I shall send my force for judgment upon Jerusalem, the sword and the famine and the noise of beasts and the pestilence to cut off from it man and beast. And that's what the Lord is going to do to the nation of Israel, you know. But he's also going to do it to these other nations too, man. Yeah. You know, they're going to also get caught up in the destruction that's coming as well, man. You know, casualties of war, that's what they're going to be, man. This place is about to have this cherry pop. Yeah, man. Right. And we ain't gonna feel sorry for you people neither, man. We can gave you warning after warning, man. I got one warning. Oh yeah, I shot. Ezekiel 32 and 9, I will also vex the hearts of many people. When I shall bring thy destruction among the nations into the countries which thou hast not known. You know, and they hey man. He saw Edom for him to come and make that proper statement, to make that whole gesture, you know, to go about that whole thing that he just did, man. Shows that man, that's a form of pride, man. And the Lord said that He's gonna vex the hearts of many people, man. He's gonna be vexed in that day. Cause right now we weeping in the pain, going back to that St. John 16 and 20, you know. And the people they rejoice. Hey, but our sorrow will return to joy, and that's when they feel exactly how we feel in this present moment. You know, they treat us like we less than a man, less than a, you know, less than a human. Man. Yeah, man. This is like I said that earlier, man. This is like this is a pathetic ass life, bro. Like, I mean, these people look at us as like, we don't got no lies. Well, in actuality, we just admitted that you damn right we don't, man. How the hell can you have a, you can't live a full life up here in America because this damn devil, man. All right, and this dude, the way he has you, you, you work eight hours out of the, eight, some brothers work 12 hours, eight to 12 hours a day. Six of those hours let you sleep. And then the other couple hours, you, you doing little errands, man. You're your bro. And then you get the two days off, man. Man, this ain't life, man. You, you struggling to live a, 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 a bullshit a, a, a manner of lifestyle, man. And then you go home and you don't know, want some food, man. Go ahead, yeah, whoever has something, man. Uh, yeah, what's, what's some more in there? No, 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 that's not it. Uh, who else has something, man? Yeah, I got something. This is, um, real quick, Micah 2 and 1. It says, Woe, this is death and destruction to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. And that's what Esau did, man. 
Just because it's in the power of their hand. They know that they got the power right now, man. That's why he did that proper last gesture, man. And it don't sit well with me, man. And uh, we handled it through the spirit, you know, in a yeah. wise fashion. Not getting all riled up, letting Esau do his thing, resist and say, letting him flee. You know, that's how it's supposed to be. But that don't sit well with the Heavenly Father, man. Yeah. You know, that was a proper statement. He said he resists the problem, man.